So it's Andy here for Go Nomad, aka Pigs on Bikes, and today we are in Santa Santa Clara. Santa Clara. 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 I was right the first time. Clara. Here in Cuba. Here's a just some general street scenes. So yeah, let's have a look at this. So I'm voicing over this one as well because I don't know why, but when I was in Cuba, I think I forgot how to speak for some reason. But anyway, yeah, so voicing over on this one. Um, this is Santa Clara and on this day we were walking through the town and we were walking to look at the um, murals. Um, oh, what are they called? Uh, the Milatio murals, which are big paintings a bit like the Berlin Wall kind of thing um, and they're quite cool and also we're walking to Tren I can never say it Blindas no that's not right it's the it's the train thing the train memorial um, to do with uh, Fidel Castro and Che Guevara in the in the revolution yeah so we're gonna go and look at that as well and that's cool that's really good so it's worth looking at and so this is just some street scenes look at this Walton Park coming down here it's quite fun isn't it? Yeah. wow yeah okay so this is, these are the murals, these are the murals and it's mural, oh, I've got to get the pronunciation of this right, I'm not very good, Milatio murals, and um, they're easy to get to, you walk out of the town centre, they're not very far, the whole, the whole of Santa Clara is really easy, really easy to walk to, and um, you can, you can, walk around the whole of the town centre very, very easily if you've just got a day, you know, and you want you want to go and see some things. There's loads of things to see in Santa Clara as well. So, anyway, so that's that. And this is the train memorial. Okay. Right. So, this is to do with when Fidel Castro sent Che Guevara, who was Fidel's number two, who's two IC, to go and capture Santa Clara. And... Uh, Sheikh Vara took about 300 of his men, only 300, to go and capture Santa Clara, and they did. And the garrison, the Batista's garrison, who was the general, who was the dictator at the time, um, his guys gave up really quickly. And then Batista had a bit of a paddy, and uh, he put... 375 of his troops onto this train um, and packed it full of guns and uh, you know other other weapons loads of ammunition and enough food for about two months and then they drove to San from Havana to Santa Clara and they stopped just outside Santa Clara and Che Guevara uh, split his force into two. One half of it kept Santa Clara, secured Santa Clara, and the other half went to attack this train. And as soon as the troops on this train saw the guerrillas, you know, Guevara's men turning up, then they basically started moving the train, and they started driving towards where this is now uh, the memorial for. And... The Sheikh Vara then led an attack on the train with 18 of his troops. And what they did was they used the bulldozer that you see at the front of the memorial. They used the bulldozer to rip the tracks up in front of the train. So when the train came down the track, it derailed. And of course, it's carrying loads of men, loads of ammunition and, and all sorts of weapons and load of food. And also, I think it was carrying a load of concrete for some reason, which is why when you look around the memorial, you see all these weird concrete things, and these concrete, like there, 
you can see like it looks but also that's supposed to also i think it's supposed to represent an explosion as well the explosion of the train derailing although i don't actually think there was an explosion um i haven't seen any pictures of anything but what they did do was they found the officers were in one of these carts and what they did was they petrol bombed it so that the officers had to come out and surrender but it was a long fight apparently it wasn't it wasn't just a quick sort of set to you know and, and of course with the 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 blokes on the train being heavily armed and have been through a train wreck actually as well you know um but heavily armed and come out fighting sort of thing so it wasn't it wasn't a quick battle by any stretch um but um then you know it 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 was sort of 300 versus 375 or something um but Sh Che Guevara's sort of top 18 lads went and did the tracking so the so the train derailed if you like um so yeah so this is the memorial for it and uh it's quite cool you know i don't think it cost us anything to get in it might have but if it did it didn't cost us very much but the thing is about all of this is this is a turning point in the 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 war like right, for for power in cuba and it's just the numbers are just so small, isn't it? It's just like 300 on one side, 375 or whatever it was on the other side. Um, it's not like there's tens of thousands of troops going in here. Uh, and the whole of the country. And this is the turning point in the, in the conflict. Because after this, um, Batista... So this happened on the 28th of December, 1958... And Batista on the 31st, I think it was. I can't remember. 31st or something of December 1958. Batista quit and he did a runner and he took 300 million US dollars with him. Which was a lot of money in 1958, wasn't it? Especially for a small country like Cuba, who were basically farmers. And sugar, mind you, sugar cane production and things like that. But anyway, so yeah, so... So he, um, yeah, he did a runner. So it was, it was three days after after this train battle. This was the end of him. And what what happened was a lot of the troops didn't want to fight their sort of relatives and brothers and fellow countrymen or whatever. So they uh, so they surrendered fairly quickly when they saw a load of a load of sort of Fidel Castro's troops. Because it wasn't only Fidel Castro's lot as well. There was t there was two other revolutionary groups in Cuba at the time. Um, one of them was the uh, National... Uh, what was it? I can't remember now. Uh, National Revolutionary Movement. And the uh, other one was uh, the DRE. So they weren't only, it wasn't only Fidel Castro's lot who was the 26th of July movement or MR26-7. Um, so they were fighting, they're fighting Castro's crew, but also they would have had to at some point also fight off these other, these other revolutionary armies as well. So yeah, so this is quite, you know, it's quite a key point in the history of Cuba. Um, and they've kept all the, they've kept all the original carriages and everything. And then, but then again, it's like, you look at this, this is, this is, you know, it's just one tiny little anti-aircraft gun. It's what on earth, you know, talk about a small-scale budget revolution. They should have done this for about $10, shouldn't they? Shouldn't have cost them anything. But there you go. Anyway, so have a look at it. It's worth looking at. And also the mural thing's worth looking at as well. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and email me at gonomad123 at gmail.com and check out the website and take care and stay safe out. Thank you.